<coughs> so I wanted to show you me loading the still. This is my final run today of the still. Four runs today. I'm getting a goodly amount. I'm happy. It makes it so I don't have to buy this stuff. I don't go to a liquor store now. I don't I haven't gone to a bar in two three years three years since I've been to a bar so yeah and I have a little bit of this before bed makes me sleep like a dog I love it so I use cellophane on the tops of the jars and I just take a pin and poke a couple holes in it so it can breathe right like a bubbler works fine okay I keep these Reuse them. Helps me get it through. Let's load the still. Everybody in the pool. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Now we put on the lid. that up there like that. There we go. And she's ready for the stove. All right. She's on there. Get my camera to sit right, if it will for me. There we go. Now we'll put on the worm. <coughs> I gotta be careful of these hoses. <laughs> is on. Now this hose it's right on there just like that. Perfect. Now this I put that in here upside down and it dampens the noise from the water draining out of that hose. And this hose, I'll use the other hose here to hold it, right like that. And I put this glass here like this. Okay. There we go. Now I'm ready to start it up. Turn on a tap. Just like so. And get the worm filling. Now this top hose here, yes, you got to give it a bit of a bang as it's filling. You only want it to get up to about here, maybe there. When it gets to just about there, you tap, 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 tap. Just like that, and you hear it start to boop, starts draining out. It's breathing. See, it's breathing. Perfect. That's what I want. Now I can turn my heat on. There we go. Now I just let her heat up just before 200 degrees, and then I turn it down to medium. And she drains in. Now that's going to take a while to drain in. And that's what I got out of the last run. There's about a Mickey there. And oh yeah, that smells good. That smells real good. I'm going to put that 
and with the rest of it yeah that's how much I got there's a 1.18 liter jug I don't call them bottles because they're not glass anymore these things are plastic so I got oh I'll have about a half a 40 ounce bottle that's a 40 ounce bottle I'll have half a 40 ounce bottle by the time I'm done and this stuff you drink it slowly so that's loading the still <clears throat> so in this video you pretty much if you watch it through to the end you'll get to see everything about the distilling process that I do here and it keeps the noise down to a dull roar for when I'm watching movies or making videos all right everybody keep watching to the end there's lots more to come One more point I wanted to add in is uh, I put a jar there and that's how I catch the heads. The heads you don't want to drink, the heads you get rid of. So I take about an ounce, ounce and a half out of, uh, into that and then put up the second glass and then I monitor it for clarity. When it's clear and has a good smell I know it's ready for the jar by itself and I remove the glasses and just let it fill up with good clean alcohol. When it uh, still starts to run too fast and there's coming out drip 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 lots of drips really quickly you know and then I take a little sample with the glass and I give it a smell if it smells like water or if it doesn't smell very strong at all I shut the still off because I know it's done because I don't want anything to do with the tails. They're not worth keeping. I just dump them. I only want the purest of the pure. That's what I want. Okay, so this is good. Let's get brewing. Yes, I'm at it again. I'm running the still. Making all the right noises. Those are the noises it's supposed to make when it's running properly. So that minor leak that I had here, right in here, I fixed that. I fixed that yesterday. It wasn't a leak that mattered anyways, except that it spilled onto the top of the still and left uh, horrible residue I had to clean off all the time. And so far I think I've run three jars today, I'm not quite sure, let me look what I got left. Yeah, I've got four jars I've run, i got two left to do. So... That'll be two more runs tonight, unless that one's not done yet. It wasn't done this morning, so I'll probably run that one. I'll leave that one for morning. Run it in the morning. Temperature's fine. That's where it's supposed to be. Then I can start another run. Well, I'm presently packing up all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So I can clear out the house of what I don't want. And what I'm not going to keep or sell and it'll all go to the thrift store and then I can start to work in this area here and uh, 
figure out what I'm going to do with all of this. Yeah. Right. So, life's getting good. I'm gotten busy. I'm making progress. So I'm booked for the end of March, beginning of April at the Fraser Canyon River Ranch Resort for gold panning lessons. A place I've taught a few times already. Nice place. I'll make videos. Anywho, that's the way we run the still. The mash is easy. One cup sugar per gallon of water. Teaspoon of yeast. Let it brew four days. Run it through the still. That's the easy stuff. Running it through the still is simple. Well, I've shown you the temperatures. I've recorded the right sounds. I've made it so it's easy to learn from the videos. You just gotta watch the videos. So, it's a good day. Everybody enjoy. Cloudy, cold day outside. Still snow on top. Look at this. Look at the snow on top. Still snow up there. Ooh, yuck. I want my palm trees and warmth. Nice beaches. Yeah, that's what I want. Well, they say necessity is the mother of invention, so with a bit of string, a coat hanger, and some tape, and some old packing foam, insulated packing foam, which came with this camera I got from a wonderful subscriber. Thank you very much again. I have... The ice filtration is working. Look at that. It drips in. Drip, 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 drip. Yep. There's pure alcohol coming out of there. <coughs> the more I take out the water, the more strong it is. I can smell it from here, and I'm about a foot and a half away from that. That's powerful stuff. That's wonderfully beautiful. So, my new procedure, and I've got three of these big bottles here. So when I'm done to run, in the freezer it goes, take out the water, and look what's left. Beautiful nummy yumminess. Now, that pure as pure can be, well, we'll give this a try later and see how it is. It's a bit early. It's an only 2.30 in the afternoon. And I don't drink until after 6. After dinner, that's when I do. <coughs> so, time to start a mash. Time to start brewing again. I'll get another one going today. I'll be able to brew it through the still on the weekend. Yeah, baby. This is going to be good. Love it, love it, love it. Remember that Industry Never Sleeps video I did two days ago? Well, there's that work train just pulling out now. That's what it looks like in the daytime. Well, the crew's getting ready to go to work. Park looks nice today. Still got that bitter cold wind from the north.
Isn't that amazing? A lot of money and machinery over there. Ha <laughs> ha.